stop focusing on how food will make you look. Instead, start focusing on how food will make you feel. What's going on, legend? Thank you so much for stopping by to click on this video. Love you to bits, you're an absolute champion. In this video, I'm gonna to talk today about a bit of a change of how I want you to, yeah, well, basically, yeah, change your perception of how you see food. Now, typically, right, I find like when I'm connecting with someone, asking a bit about their journey, um, just connecting with people in general, more often than not, what I find is that the way that someone sees food is just like, um, if I eat this food, how is it gonna make me look? If I eat this food, is it gonna make me fat? If I eat this food, is it gonna make me lean? So it's like they perceive and look at food as basically, is this food gonna make me look good, right? Which, to be honest, is fucked. <laughs> Right? What you should be looking at is how is eating this food going to make me feel? All right? That's how I want you to look at it instead. Because the thing is, fam, is like <clears throat> when it comes to the novelty of what will control how your body looks, right, isn't um, a food in and of itself, right? It's overall energy coming in versus energy out. So in other words, if you say, for example, uh, are taking in 1800 calories a day, right? And you burn, let's say 2300, 2500 calories a day through your resting and non, um, I mean, sorry, through your resting and non-rested activity, right? Chances are you're probably gonna be burning some body fat, right? Especially if you're doing some resistance training amongst all that energy expenditure, all right? So regardless of what you ate within that calorie intake, right, you will more than likely be losing body fat, all right? So what you could have been eating to be able to hit that intake could have been a nice mixture of plants and protein and awesome nutrient dense food and then some of those calories dedicated to like chocolate and some ice cream and a couple of biscuits maybe and a bit of cheese. See what I mean? Or you could have been the sort of person who ate, you know, a large Big Mac meal and a couple of Sundays that could have probably hit 1800 as well. And you also could have been the person who maybe ate solely plant-based with a decent amount of protein and, um, you know, maybe like a couple of Diet Cokes in there as well. See what I mean? Each of those different examples could have equaled that same 1800 and provided that you, you know, were in a deficit, you will lose body fat, right? So the thing is though, is that like quantity of food matters massively for changing your body composition, right? But quality of your food also matters massively, all right? Because let's say for example, that you have your intake of calories, right? That's required for you to lose body fat. And you're the sort of person who's like, right, I'm just gonna go out of my way to fit in as much fast food and processed food and YOLO tasting stuff as I can, right? <sighs> Obviously you're gonna be feeling very shit um, like you're not going to be regular in the bathroom, you're not going to be able to perform well, you'll probably just hate life and you'll have no energy and vitality, right? And that's because the quality of your food is horrendous, yeah? Whereas if you want to be feeling really good um, and performing in the gym really well, well then naturally it makes sense to devote the bulk of your calories coming in to nutrient-rich food. And I'm not saying all, Key word there, you see I didn't say all, and that's because if you try and be the team that is, fuck yeah, I'm gonna hit all my calories just from eating hashtag clean, I'm only gonna eat protein rich sources, I'm only gonna eat plants, I'm not gonna eat anything that has sugar or anything that's processed to any sort of degree, even though I like it, but fuck it because it's not gonna help me to get lean. Like if you try and take that approach, I'd be willing to bet any amount of money that as soon as you get stressed or as soon as like, you know, you're not happy with the results you're getting or you enter into some sort of shit emotional headspace, you will binge on all this stuff that you've been cutting out because it's gonna have so much perceived novelty simply because you've been telling yourself that you can't have it, all right? So if you're looking for a moderative, sustainable-based approach to basically controlling how you look and controlling how you feel, well, this is where it's wise to be able to approach things in the way that I've said. So in other words, you're not trying to be 100% clean, you're not trying to be 100% YOLO, you're in between and kind of adjusting that ratio based, based on what feels best for you. So this is where you'll typically find the 70, 30 or the 80, 20 works best for most people. 80% of the time, nutrient dense, awesome, um, you know, wholesome food and 20% of the time, YOLO stuff, right? And then if you've got like a comp coming up or you're looking to get really lean for a photo shoot, well naturally you're probably gonna 
be um, wanting to maximize your calories as much as you can so that you can stay relatively full and satiated while leaning down on less calories, right? This is the scenario for me whenever I do comp preps. So like in my last one, for example, the lowest that my calories got were about 2,500, right? And they started up at about 32, 33, I think for memory. Um, and by the end of my prep, yeah, like 2,500 didn't feel like much at all, right? So I had to be smart about how I dispersed my food choices. And to be honest, I was eating probably about 90% and 10. So 10% was like, yeah, dedicated to YOLO type stuff. So like chocolate and stuff that I liked. But then in saying that, I would still make my desserts, you know, lots of fruit, and some yogurt, maybe like a little bit of jelly, and just like a little bit of chocolate, as opposed to a dessert at the start of the prep that might have been like some cake and a bit of ice cream and some lollies, you see what I mean? So it's like the nature of this game is about making choices that fit within structure. So too often, a lot of people are just like looking at food in the wrong way that basically <laughs> winds up in them fucking up their structure and just having things all over the shop, right? So remember the mold of the story here is that stop seeing food as basically will this make me look good okay but that's not a thing all right i want you to see food as a way of just like it's fuel fuel for happiness performance lifestyle and you can use it to varying degrees to control how you look and how you feel don't be that sort of person that goes out of their way to just make pop tarts and yolo stuff take out the bulk of your calories that gets old pretty quick all right i must admit like i felt for that novelty when i was fresh to the game because i was like fuck yeah i've got all these calories like i can just you know, da, 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 da. but then you start to realize that it's like you don't feel too crash hot eating that sort of food the bulk of the time and then you start to find your own happy medium. But let me know your experience on this. I'd love to hear in the comments below. Otherwise, make sure to give this video some love, share it with someone who you think could benefit from it and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.